basket is back. I'm back. I'm doing an empties. If this lightning and stuff like that is weird, it is very, very sunny outside my window. It is right in front of me, so I hope the lightning is okay. I really hope so. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Denmark, so if my English English sounds weird, that's why. I'm rusty. I haven't filmed in a while, but I'm back with an empties video. These empties has been in my basket for four months now, so I thought it was time to do this video. I have a few skincare items and quite a bit of makeup empties and then some declutters and I will talk through them. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will answer them. So. Let's begin. The first one that I'm actually really excited about is the Body Shop Shape Body Butter. Is that, is that what it's called? I don't know. I love the Body Butters from the Body Shop and I only use them on my legs and feet because those are the drying, driest parts of my body. It's just too heavy on my arms and my tummy and stuff like that. I use another body lotion for that. I Loved this one. This smelled amazing. I have three already in my stash, so I will not run out soon-ish. I have the Ivy Aya cleansing oil. I think that is how you pronounce it. I do like the one for the body shop better than this, so it's not my favorite, but I have bought it again because it's cheap and it actually works. You cannot rinse this off with water. You have to use a cloth. And that's fine with me. I don't mind, really. Sometimes I use this to resolve my makeup and then use my cleanser on top. It's fine. It is for normal to dry skin. My best friend uses this for shaving her legs in the shower and it works amazing for that too. But it's not the best makeup cleansing oil, you know, for your face. Then I used the sample of the Sephora Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying Mask. I liked it. It was fine. I had it on for about 10 minutes and then it was completely dry and I could wash it off. I don't know if I felt my skin was cleared. <laughs> it was uh, very smooth so I guess it was very clean but it did not dry my skin out. I don't feel like it. It's very hard to tell from one new sample, but I liked it. I don't know if I would buy it again, but it's it's an option. Two packs of cotton rounds. I use cotton rounds for my nail polish only, and then so my daughter used them uh, as well. For my eye makeup and stuff like that, I use reusable cotton rounds. I don't use the one-time use things. I have some makeup bits here, and I will go through them. I have primer. It is the Makeup Library Matte Primer. I really like this and for the money this is amazing. I don't know the price tag in dollars. I only know them in Danish crowns. So I'm sorry. But this is really really good and I will definitely buy it again. But I have not been that lucky that it was in the store when I went there. <laughs> Let's take some mascaras because I have three here. One is the Essence Volume Stylist Curl and Hold Mascara. This is one of my favorites. This and the purple one from Essence. They are really really good. They are very cheap and they do amazing. I only have this on my lashes right now and I do think it gives the right volume and curl that I need. I have not curled my lashes with my eyelash curler. I don't really do that when I use this uh, mascara. I just opened a new one and I still love it just as much as I did before. These two on the other hand, I found these in my drawer, um, actually in my declutter drawer and I thought that was silly to declutter mascara. You can just try to use it and I have used them and they are now too dry. They don't do anything for my lashes. This is the W7 Lashes Gelor Gel Volume Mascara and it is a flat brush um, but doesn't really do much. It just coated my lashes with some black color. <laughs> this is the W7 Massive Lashes Volume, Volume Mascara. It does not give that much volume. Um, it is like an hour's glass shaped wand. Maybe they were too dry 
when I tried them out, I don't know. Uh, but I don't remember the full size doing anything good either. So, yeah, let's just leave it at that. I have used up the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. Some loves this powder and some really doesn't like this powder. I don't find it gives me a white cast. I'm very, very pale all around. Yeah, and in the summer I am still the palest girl in the crowd because I am paper white. The packaging still sucks. It's a fine powder and for the money it's it's fine. The writing has rubbed off this one because I have it have had it for that long. Two years? I do think I got this when I was pregnant with Natalie and that was in 2020. Before that? But this is a eyebrow gel from uh, Revolution and it was really really nice. I got the darkest color. Yeah, dark brown. When I bought this, I colored my hair and I colored my hair darker than it is now because this is my natural hair color. If I want to use this, I need a lighter color. I did like this for the light makeup days when I didn't want to fill in my brows or anything. I could give them a tint with this one and it was really, really fast and my brows was on point the whole day. So this is really, really good but it has a tint. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But then again, for the light makeup days, it was fine. So maybe I like the tint, maybe I don't. But for where I am right now, I don't like the tint. I used up two concealers. This is from Revolution. It is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealer. I am using C1. Okay, <laughs> I'm using C1 right now, and this is C2. Um, I in the winter time I like C2 for my face and C1 under my eyes. That tells you how pale I am because those match me. <laughs> but I really really like this. I know it's not a very big tube and it's cheap and so on, but I really really like it and it works for me. So I keep buying them. But yes, this has whole this has lasted me four or five months. So that's fine for me. Four grams of product. Yeah, but it has this big doe foot and that for me is really nice. This is the Gosh Concealer High Coverage Concealer in lighter shade. Yeah, two ivory. This is the light lightest shade and it also had this big doe foot applicator. It has a higher price than the Revolution one, obviously, but it also has the high coverage, but I don't know if it is that much better. Maybe a little bit. But for the price, I rather want to buy the Revolution one because it does kind of the same job and it is cheaper. This has 5.5 milliliters in it, so I don't know. It has more product in it, but it doesn't need to be better. I just found myself talking without it being recording. <laughs> That's really the downsize of this camera. I don't know when it cuts me off because I don't really look back the camera when I'm talking. The next product is my Essence Extreme Last Base Coat. This is an amazing base coat. It does make my la nail polish last longer. It says 80% confirmed longer wear and I'm definitely in those 80% because it just does its job. It's really, really good. And I have not found a base coat that is this good. And for the price point, amazing. Really, really amazing. And I will definitely buy that again. Right now I have some base coats I want to get through. And I will definitely do that because then I will paint my nails more. So those are all my makeup products. Let's take the products that I'm decluttering. I have been on a declutter kick, if you can say it like that for my lip products because I just have a lot and I know they are old and I didn't really go through any lip products last year so I really want to see if they are still good and if I like them. So I have a few here that I have tested out the last few months and I still like use a new one every single day. Okay so I have six, six lip products here and two of them I do believe you know why I am going to let them go because um, 
<laughs> they are blue or green. I have no idea what I thought of when I found these in the sale section in Matas. I never, 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 never use these kind of lip products. Like, never. I have a, a grey lip product. I maybe want to use that out in the open. I have some dark lips, lip products I might use outside. But they are like red and brown and stuff like that. But blue and green, I can use color on my eyes, but on my lips, I, I don't know. I don't know if or how I feel about that. These are the NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream. The blue one is called Comet's Tail and this is called Out of Called Out of This World. They're fine. They're lip glasses like a cream, you know. Yeah, I'm not going to use them and I have no idea who to give it to. I have had these for at least four or five years now. So bye bye. The last one from NYX is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is amazing, but it smells bad. No, <laughs> I don't want to put that on my lips anymore. It's not a liquid lipstick, but it's not like a lip gloss. It stays on for a while, but it doesn't stay on that well than uh, like a liquid lipstick, you know. This is soft spoken. It is a beautiful darker nude color. I love this, like, really, 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 really like this. So I'm very sad to see it go and I have not used it up. I actually wanted to pan this this year, but it went bad. I'm so sad. The next three I have are from W7. The first one is the Skinny Lipping Matte Nude Lip Color in Lip Arty. I don't know. It's a very, very nude color and it also smells and it's just very liquidy. I have found that many of my liquid lipsticks are very liquidy, um, but some of them I can help by swirling them, but this one is just not good anymore. As you can see, it's very, very pale. The next two are from the Kiss Ink Matte Kisser Lip Proof Lip Color line. And these are really, really cool about the packaging. Um, they form the logo on the caps if you take two together, you know. Um, they're very nice. This one is the more pinky nude color and it is called Stuck On You. They are liquidy and they smell funky. And the more pale nude color is called Forever and Ever. I do really like these. These are also liquid lipsticks. They are the midway, just like the suede one from uh, NYX one, but they stay on better than the suede from NYX. But these are the products that I'm going to declutter, and they are going straight in the trash. I'm very sad about it, but I have only paid for these three. <laughs> so, I'm fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually really enjoyed it. If I went through them too fast or talked too fast, I'm sorry, but I really wanted to get this done before I went to work in like two minutes. I need to be there now. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.